Ian Baird. He's an associate professor from the Department of Geography at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Mr. Baird, it's good to see you. Thank you for being with us here on TRT World. Well, we just heard the Prime Minister says the soldier may have done this in retaliation against his commanding officer over real estate issues. But um, maybe you can speak to the culture of Thailand. Is this at all a regular occurrence there? Well, you can never, uh, you know, generalize about any uh, group of people uh, because there's lots of diversity in Thailand as well. But generally speaking, Thai people tend to uh, avoid conflict. Um, they tend to not want to have uh, um, sort of negative interactions with people. But sometimes when people hold back their negativity, uh, it it can blow up and, 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 and this sort of thing can happen. Of course, it's not common to have this sort of thing happen in Thailand, but um, as in any country, uh, you know, it, it can happen occasionally. So I suppose that you're saying repressing your true feelings there is quite the norm. Well then, what are your thoughts on the gunman posting his actions and movements to social media as it was happening? Well, social media has become very, very popular in Thailand. It's become an, an, every, a, a, an everyday life part of thing for, for, for Thai people. So people use social media very commonly, especially Facebook. And so it's not surprising that somebody who wanted everyone to know uh, about a grievance or about something that was happening, uh, you know, might uh, put things on Facebook. Uh, Thai police as well were advising people in the shopping center to remain hidden, um, to meet their cell phones. What are your thoughts on how the situation was handled by them? Well, I think it's a bit too early to say, uh, you know, to say whether they handled it well or not. I mean, this is obviously a very unusual situation. You don't get these type of mass killings, especially in this number in Thailand very often. Um, and it was not in, you know, the capital city. It was in a provincial capital. So, uh, it may well have been that the 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 uh, police did not have experience and may not have, uh, you know, known quite how to react. All right, Mr. Baird, we appreciate you uh, giving your perspective. Thanks for joining us again. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you.